you almost finish uh, 28 angular lectures and now it's time to become a master in angular js uh, to become a master in angular js i think you need more practice and i'm going to give some help for that i'll do some real world applications uh, that uses angular js and you can follow those uh, the lectures and become master in angular js from this lecture i am going to use visual studio as my development tool reason for use visual studio because i am going to use asp.net mvc backend with this angular js front end and uh, as a first lecture i am going to develop some user registration system and uh, users can register into a system and registered users can log into a system i'm going to create two separate uh, html files for a register and the login first thing is for a register The next one will be a login. This one is uh, creating new views. Uh, it's actually equal to your normal HTML because this create view, uh, the backend is ASP.NET. That's why uh, ASP.NET MVC. That's why it creates Razor view. And there's no difference between your HTML and this Razor view and i already created a html component for these two files now i need to use uh, angular routing to transfer with these two files uh, with the index dot as html the first thing is i need to import that library I'm going to use angular root and I already created angular app called I'm app 29 in the script file uh, first thing I need to do is inject that angular root ng root and now I'm going to create a app.config I'm going to use root provider the first uh, screen will be for a register template url for that is slash or slash instead. this url pattern comes because of this uh, the mvc architecture and if you are using other backend technologies this url pattern will be changed it will be to direct your html file and the second one will be for a login template url for that is home.login and the i'm going to write uh, default url and that i'm going to redirect default url to login right and i have written this uh, angular root and we will check this uh, html files 
in the HTML file uh, I need to enter first name last name email and the password and I have a button to submit these details and yes I have a path to a login file in the register screen and I will go to the login screen and it's having to enter the username as email and the password and button to submit and also link for register now I want to define the view area to this angular root I'll use ng view directive and we will check angular root I have written angular root register and I want to use slash here right and register will go to the register and login will go to the login and default will be a login and we will run the application and see angular root is working correctly right it loads the login page that's the default one and we will click on register yes it goes to the register form and we will click again login yes that means that uh, angular root is working perfectly as a first uh, uh, the data save we will do the uh, data save for this register form and I have these uh, validation fields but I didn't do any validation that's why all the things are coming we will stop the project and go to register right I have a form area here and I'm going to use ng model and I'm going to use user dot first name I'm going to create a user object using these controllers using these input controllers and in here I'll use ng model ng model user dot last name and this one will be ng model user dot email and this one will be ng model user dot password and I'm going to do the validation here I'm going to use ng show my form name is form this is form and dot uh, first name dot the first thing I'm going to check if it is any data entered for that I need to use dirty and I need to check if data is entered before the post pack and uh, data mark required sorry it will be error required and the same thing I'm going to use for last name and Jisha first name before do the validation I need to check if any data is entered from dot last name dot dollar mark dirty and from dot last name dot error dot and here also in the
error require and this one will be checking the email format ng show um, form dot email dot dot email that will check the the format of the email and this will be a required ng show from dot 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 from dot 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 and now I need to handle the disable disability of the button with the validity of the form. For that I am going to use ng disabled and condition will be form dot invalid. If form is invalid, this uh, button must be disabled, right? I have did the validation and now I am going to create a separate controller to control this register function. I will go to the script folder and going to create a new JavaScript controller and this will be a register controller. I'm going to define the controller app dot controller the controller name is register controller and function inside of the function I'm going to use a scope right I have defined the controller I'm going to give this control area in the, this list of HTML file ng controller and this will be a register controller right and I need to use a button to submit and in the button I'm going to use uh, form submit function ng submit function ng submit and function will be uh, i'll give the name as the function as form submit and when the form submit i need to pass this use object right i'm going to pass this use object when the form is submit I'm going to write that function the scope dot form submit function I'm going to accept that uh, the passing object from the front end that's user and write I have written the function for a submit um, oops misses spell that's form submit we will copy exact function and paste there right and I'm going to write uh, angular factory controller that's actually angular factory to handle this uh, data process with backend and controller I'll add new JavaScript file called user factory I'm going to write factory here app dot factory actual factory is handling all the processes I'm going to name the factory as register user function and 
in this factory I'm going to use uh, HTTP handler and the dot Q handler because this uh, factory will be uh, asynchronous return function right and from the controller I'm going to use this factory to use the factory I need to define it in the function in the controller function and inside of the uh, the submit function I'm going to use that register user and I'm going to pass this user object and I'm going to get to result. as a return I'm going to equal into this result object and we we'll write the factory now I'm going to accept use object here and I'm going to define deferred object this is q dot defer type actually this will handle the asynchronous process and now I am going to do HTTP POST request and my path will be home slash register function and I am going to pass some data into the first request and the backend will accept that as the, this object as us pass user pass and i'm going to equal this user as us pass user pass actually that's the that's the object that is going to accept i have defined backend the, this object uh, name has to accept because of that I'm going to equal this user object into us pass when it pass to the backend it pass as us pass and if it is success I need to handle some function here if it is error I need to handle some function here and I'm going to use this deferred object dot resolve resolve this asynchronous request and data will be true I'm going to make if it is the this one will be true if there's no any error in the backend fast and it processes successfully if there's any error I'm going to make data into false now I need to promise this return for that I will use deferred object dot promise this is how you are going to handle this asynchronous backend request and now I am going to my controller controller is going to accept this processing request for that I am going to use result then function and the output what I am going to return from the uh, factory and I am going to use alert success just pass success 
if the data is saved successfully and I'm going to index.html now because I need to add this user controller and user factory into my index file and now we will run the application and see how this one will be response to this user controller and user factory right it loads we will go to the register and we will type shivankashivankashwa.gmail.com and I will type password as 123456 and I will hit register button and we will see there is no any response from the backend I'll open the console and see. Yes, you can see an error. Q dot differ is not a function. Actually, differ is single f. I have misspelled. And I'll go to the front end again. And I'll enter the data again. I'll put this details and hit the register button and yes you can see success message we will go to the database and see I'll go to the this users database user, users table and yes you can see data shivanga chaturanga and password 123456 yes you can see data is saved and we will display nice uh, animated message replacing this alert and we will after saving this data we will clear these objects I'm going to app js and I think you remember in lecture 28 we did uh, uh, animation in angular way I'm going to copy paste uh, those directives into here and this is hide me I'm going to use this hide me in the register.html let's hide me and the variable will be I'll define some variable here in the register controller in the default I am going to hide that uh, div area that message div area and if it is success this must be true this must be false if it is success I am going to use this variable is hidden I'm going to display some message also here. Mm, we'll write scope dot message. When it starts, message will be a blank, and I'll say record saved successfully. message in here we will run this application we will do full refresh to this application and we will see I'll add new details Eugene Gonzalez Eugene gmail.com and one two three four five six is the password and I'll hit register yes you can see 
this uh, animation comes clearly and I'm going to clear this details after it passes successful and use user dot first name okay, right and user dot last name okay, right user dot email refresh this one again and see after recorded is successful these fields are clearing I'll add a new one Jerome Kef and Jerome at cebc.com and the password will be 123 and hit register yes these fields are cleared automatically and yes record save successful message come i think you understood how we are going to do the user registration and right now we will do for a coding for a login for that i'll add a new controller for the login that's called a login controller Controller login controller and the function. Um, here yeah, I'm going to use a scope, and this time I'm not going to use factory to process this login details. I'm going to use inside of the controller and scope and HTTP. I have used. I'm going to the login.html file. I'm going to give ng controller. And that's login controller. And I'm going to the index.html file now. And I need to add this login controller into index.html file. Right. I'm going to give ng model that will be user dot email and ng model for a password that will be user password right and I have a validation so I'm going to use ng show that will be form dot email going to check dirty and form dot email dot error dot record and the same thing I am going to use for a password also and the only change is the name password and the password and this time I'm going to use uh, ng click to handle submit I'll say the function as login and I'm going to pass this user object to the function I'll go to the login controller and scope dot login echo function I'm going to accept that passing object as user I'm going to write HTTP dot this is post I'm going to use for a login and my path will be home slash login function I'm 
pass into the data to the backend as us pass variable and this will be the user object i am going to pass as us pass and if it is success if it sends that request is success function i'm going to access output and in the function it will return true or false this login for that i'll use if output true that means login success and else that means output false that means login false for now i'll use alert false and true right login controller i'll create uh, ng click login function and it passes this use object in the login control i have created a http post request and it passes data to the backend login function and it returns the output true or false and we will run the application and see right it loads this login and i think you remember when i create uh, the users uh, user registrations i have registered uh, the user for shivanka swe at gmail.com and my password is one two three four five six we will hit login and see we get any outputs yes i got true and we will edit this email as shivanka removing swe and hit login yes you can see false we will go to the database and see yes we have a shivanka swe at gmail.com and password as one two three four five six and yes shivanka swe at gmail.com password as one two three four five six yes it's true and if i remove some password characters yes it's false that means my login controller is work perfect and we will add that uh, animation into this login controller that custom animation directive that's called hide me and we will create some variable here scope dot is equal to true and if it is success i am going to make this as false to create some variable also to display the message scope dot message default it's blank and i need to show this here login successful and here login failed things this is is hidden this and the message will be message we will save this thing and we will refresh the file and enter the details I'll enter 
enter the correct detail first right i'll hit login yes you can see login successful that message animated and i'll add uh, i'll remove some words of the password and hit login yes you can see login failed that animation is comes i think now you understood about how we are going to do logins and registrations and i'll explain briefly uh, i have created a angular routing uh, to uh, make this login file and register file separately and this will make code more clear and I have created a angular directive uh, the custom directive called hide me and uh, same custom directive I have used in register HTML and also in the login HTML uh, and you understood about how to use that uh, the same directives in two files and we created a factory object and in the next uh, lesson you will get clear understanding about why we create this factory uh, angular factory and uh, I think uh, we finish this uh, lecture less than uh, 40 minutes time that means you can create uh, that full login the front end uh, less than 40 minutes time you can add a lot of things into this application like lot of validations and lot of outputs uh, according to the return type and I just did some basics and we will continue this lesson with uh, that uh, the registered user add update delete thing in the next lesson